Hello guys, hello guys, yeah. I'm back with another video. Back with another video. back with another plant video guys I shared with you two weeks ago that I was going to buy a few plants for the spring which I have I do think I want to get maybe one more or two more but I'm not sure because I already have enough plants so today's video is uh, just sharing with you my new plant babies and I'm super excited so the first plant I'm gonna get started with is this plant it's not it's not a plant but it's more so an herb um i believe this one is called yes this one is the peppermint plant uh by my job there's a guy that sells a lot of herbs on wednesdays so uh, it definitely caught my attention because who doesn't want peppermint peppermint in their home it smells just like peppermint and this uh this herb it grows so fast and it's just so pretty uh so with herbs you can definitely do a lot with it add it to your food or what i like to do preferably with the her with the peppermint herb is uh add it to my tea i boil it boil water then pour the water um over the herb and let it steep for a few minutes and i have my peppermint tea voila magic the next plant is is this the peppermint's cousin so it makes sense when I'm what I'm about to how I'm about to explain it. This is peppermint's cousin. So this plant is called because these herbs will not plant herb. These herbs were three for five, so I just had to take advantage of that. No, three for nine dollars. So I just had to take advantage of that. This one right here. This one looks a little funny, guys, and I gotta tell you why. But this herb is chocolate mint. So it smells like a York peppermint patty so i'm really not going to do much with this plant i just wanted it because it was chocolate peppermint so maybe i'll try making tea or something like that but um it really caught my attention because it smells like a peppermint patty like chocolate mint um what happened with these plants I, these herbs i did not know that herbs grow so fast in the sunlight or i guess uh you know uh the soil gets dry very fast so you know usually i water my plants once a week so I had these plants chilling for a week, honey, came back and looked at the plant and the plant was like steeped over all day. Like this one almost died. So that's why you see right here, it's, it's, it's almost kind of like nothing here. And it's the new ones growing as you can see, because I had to cut all the ones that died and dried off. So I was like, Hey, y'all dry, y'all dry, y'all grow fast. Like, oh, oh, why can't my hair grow that fast? Like, ah, dang. Um, so this one is growing is growing back honey she had some breakage some hair breakage her hair was falling out it's growing back so the next one is one of the herbs the last herb that i've been using a lot um i've been using it in my salads and uh pastas um everything and this is of course basil so honey she got a little you know she lacking a little bit of hair because i've been tearing her up Tearing her up in my salads and my pastas and stuff and pizza. This is just, this uh, herb is just truly amazing. Like this basil is amazing. This is the Italian sweet basil or something like that. But I love this. I did not know how much I'll be using this herb. So guys, if you have some herbs that you can, get, you have access to, I highly encourage you to purchase some. Um, I think I would like to try another one, but I'm not sure. If you guys have any suggestions of which one I should try, let me know. I was thinking of trying lavender because I, lo I love lavender and maybe possibly making some lavender tea or something like that. So yeah, so let's move, keep it moving. Oh, I did forget one more herb, guys. I'm so sorry. Y'all gonna be like, God dang, she is in love with these herbs. This one right here. This is the cousin to the peppermint and the chocolate mint. This is mojito mint. So, honey, you know when you be at the bar getting a little tipsy on those mojitos, this is what they use in uh, the drink. So, oh, it smells just like mojito mint. This one is just fabulous. So, I, when I first made tea, I used this one, and it was just truly delicious. Like, this plant is just truly beautiful. I hope I can keep it all year long because it just smells so great. It smells amazing. 
So guys, I have another plant now I'm about to show you. Those are my little herbs. So now I have another plant that I'm going to share with you. It is different for me. I really don't do color plants. I usually just stick with the green plants. But this one was really beautiful and it caught my attention. And guess what this one is? Oh my God, I love this plant. This plant is called the Begonia Rex. Um, it's also known as, it has a variety of different names. I think the Chicago Fire or Ruby Kisses or Red Kisses or something. I don't know. But to me, this one's called the Begonia Rex. And I just love it because the leaves caught my attention because as you see on the leaves, it looks kind of like a white overcast. Actually, believe it or not, that's kind of like a, it looks metallic. It's like a shimmery metallic on these plants. I'm not sure what causes that, but I just thought this plant was just truly beautiful. Um, it looks like a baby, what's those Christmas plants? Those plants everybody won't give during Christmas time. With the red, big red leaves. I don't remember the name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. But this looks like a kind of like a modern type one. Um, these leaves are just truly beautiful. Um... And then right here, as you can see, the green one, the baby one right here, I think that when they start off, when they grow like that, it starts off that color and then it gets darker and darker and darker. So I, um, I truly love this, this Begonia Rex plant. It's just, it's just so pretty. Like it's really different for me, but I love it. It's just so pretty. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. So then the last plant I love, I have guys, I only got like a few herbs and plants, but hopefully I'll get some more. Um, this one is called, um, this one's also a different one for me because like I said, I only do green plants, but this one's green with some extra color in it. This one right here, isn't this overwhelming to you guys? I mean, the, 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 the plant case the purple and the green is just overwhelming it's like wow that is really beautiful isn't it you know you feeling it you're feeling it boo boo you know you like dang i want that one yes that purple and that gold and that white all set on i turn on set on a um that this this purple really offsets the the gold isn't it this is just a perfect it's just perfect isn't it i know i created this okay guys i'm gonna tell y'all where i got this this little pot from okay one of the little plant girls had it and I saw it and I was like, I gotta get that. This was um $14.99, not the plant, the, the plant jar um at World Market. Okay, I told y'all, okay? See, I'm nice. I be sharing stuff with y'all. And this plant is the I think this plant has different names. Um, this one is like a lot of people know it as the oyster plant or Moses in the cradle plant. Um, it has a, a, a variety of other names that I'm not too familiar with. Um, it, I don't know the proper name, but I just know it's like a Moses in the Cradle plant or the Oyster plant. And I just love it because you see the purple and green foliage. Um, it's just, it's just such a different plant that really caught my attention. Um, it's an exotic plant. I just love how you see that purple. I mean, isn't that just beautiful? I mean, it's just, this is just beautiful. Like, you, you know, you, you know, you loving it. You can't say nothing because it's cute. So, um, that was pretty much it, guys. You know, I think I did pretty good. I got some really pretty plants and some summertime herbs. Um, I don't know. I have too, I think I have too many herbs. They'll overwhelm me a little bit. So, maybe I might give one of the mint plants to my mom or a friend of mine or something like that. But I, I love it. I love it. These plants are doing really well. Um, and that's it, guys. I wish I had more to talk to you about, but... If you have any questions about anything or um, any videos you want to see, let me know. Um, I'll be doing another plant update soon, and if I get any new, any new plants, I'll let you know. There is one plant that I really want to get that I have my eye on, but I'm not sure. It's more so of a succulent. It's called the jade plant, jade succulent. It has a really thick, uh, it's not really leaves, but it's like this thick green thing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Look it up, jade plant or jade succulent you know what i'm talking about but it's such a pretty plant so i would like to get that not sure yet but that's it guys thank you so much again for supporting me if you have not subscribed please subscribe so you can see what other plant videos i have going on in my life yes you do share hit the like button and just thank you so much for everything i will see you guys next time